Alrighty, new shot here. There's no sound. This is between kind of blocky. You mentioned here blocking and splining. And at the end. Cool. Yeah, fun stuff. I like it. Not sure. First thing, just because of the camera. I don't mind this. Handheldy looking for something. I think it snaps up a bit too soon. Like it knows that she's about to appear here. So I would keep it handheldy through here. To be honest, I'm not sure you need to handheld. You can just have her enter. You know, imagine we're here. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six or seven frames. And you just start here on a static camera. And then she appears. So you'll be maybe around between here and here. And then the camera pans and tilts up to reframe. But that's really up to you. It's a bit of a, you know, there's nothing going on, but I can I can see the appeal of kind of looking. Oh, what's going on? Ta-da! Surprise. If you want to keep it like that and you want that much time without anything happening here, seconds, then all I would do is stay down here and then have her appear and then the camera adjusts. Even here, we are dropping a bit a bit too soon and i'm really talking at two or three frames i know she gets she'll get pretty close to here and it's fine i can actually bring this up here it's fine for characters to break frame the camera is always going to be somewhat late unless there's a very specific story point you want to tell and that's okay that's all cool then i'm not super sure about this translate it's such a attention grabbing move with the camera that's just there for potentially a better three-quarter view so my suggestion could be if we look at where we are ending here i mean that's pretty similar in terms of the angle so i'm not sure when you go that we need to be so head-on with the camera now i understand that if you do stay more three-quarter that she might end up being you know too far over there but i think you can easily just have her Basically, what I'm saying is keep this camera angle and just do everything with your pan and tilt, blah, blah, blah. This is your tilt. This is your pan, right? And don't do any of that translating move. Very subjective, but I'm not sure you need it. And it's it's a bit too, too drawing attention to itself feeling to me. So if you men if you imagine this is the camera that you're using here no translates and you just tilt and pan to reframe her what i'm saying is that when she gets to here with a camera like that she might end up too far to the left so obviously the remedy would be when you get to this she just has to slide more towards camera and then it's okay because then you can have her do a little bit of a curve that way hope that makes sense and then the other thing is it's a very long pause um and I don't see anything in the email. And the prison guard comes to stop them from behind the camera. I mean, that is that is this section here. So I would just go into cut. But even here, I would have her move go like oh, they caught us and play up the, the lights. So one thing you can do, if you want to keep this for a second, you can have to make this super obvious barbed wire here and then you have a really strong uh spotlight going from you know from here to here or from here to here so immediately we know oh this is some secure facility maybe a prison again like you know you have stuff here where they're not supposed to climb and you have spotlights something is going on and we can read all of this. We get to see the set. We understand the spotlight. Like, oh, this is where we are. And then she comes in here. Then we have all this action, which is all super cool. <laughs> I like her little... That's all fun. I think I got some notes on this, potentially. But just to finish that thought. And then that light could go this way. Could also go up, whatever it is. But something where we don't quite catch them except maybe parts of this or maybe parts of her head. And then the light does a very dramatic shift. So imagine the light goes this way and then 
that's illuminated but catches just enough of this stops a bit and it's almost like its own character and timing and then goes and has a really strong and you can even have that like over there and then a second spotlight comes in like we got them we got them and she has a stronger reaction of oh, crap they got us and then cuts because this feels a bit the light just kind of comes in and then stops and she has a bit of a hey she's very relaxed about this Unless I'm missing something or you have some other ideas or something at the end is missing that explains that move and the timing of it. And then at the end, we have, if I bring this up here, we have a lot of time where nothing's happening here, right? So we just go, oh, cut. Again, unless there's something happening at the end that I'm not aware of, I don't see it in the email listed there. So uh, something you can let me know. That would be that. In terms of the animation, I think this is all fun. I do like that little hand, the arm up, down, and that little adjustment there. I think that's a cool little, whoa, classic three-point landing. Why not? That all seems fine too. It's a bit magical in terms of body mechanics, in terms of how she slides forward, meaning that she lands here, puts her weight on this for not that long, and then, whoa, wait a minute. This leg is now suddenly going forward. So I'm not quite buying that. She is going so far so quickly after one frame of contact. So to me, it would be, she could be like this, goes back, but, you know, leans on this leg for, for an anticipation, then pushes herself forward. So then that leg might be, you know, could already be stretch out this way and then catches up on the knee whatever you know changes you want to do in terms of mechanics but you want to make this look like there's even if it's stylized and cartoony and snappy in in terms of timing that there's still the basis for the mechanics are still correct and this doesn't quite work to me where she gets over there and then, yeah to me it's like that's the step she's taking and then whoa one frame going there really fast that's all cool. I love that turn. And I love that she turns around so we don't see her eyes. So we look for new eyes. He comes in. I like that he's the clumsy guy with all the weight. He can keep him pinned because he's so heavy. Again, I love that little exaggerated stop into this. The thought that I had here where he lands there. Then he just turns into a just pull, pull, pull. What if when he lands... Instead of this, even though I like the silhouette, it's a bit twinned, the whole pose. So what if he lands and he is slightly more three-quarter or maybe... Like, he falls really clumsily. And imagine this arm is underneath him and he has his head here. This arm is like that. And then maybe only, you know, only one leg came up. The other leg is over there. But he's laying on his side so that when she comes here, and it's a bit tricky and I'm, I'm unraveling things, so you obviously feel free to ignore any of this. But imagine the head is here, that arm is underneath, and then this arm is there. She comes, you know, running to over this, grabs this arm so that she has to unroll him. So it's not just a pull like this, but this whole section is him getting turned over now i know this changes a lot because then he would be on his on his back looking up but then you have a broader move like there's a there's a contrast in terms of where he is in terms of laying here rotating she has a change where she she first has to roll him off the guy and once he plops down she can readjust to then just pull him and then maybe because of that with that head, <clears throat> he can slowly wake up. And now we actually get to see his head versus here we can't. So when that spotlight comes in, he can also wake up and have an expression. So they both have an expression of uh-oh, or, you know, whatever silly reaction you want to have on him. Alrighty. That's kind of what I have. And again, potentially destructive notes. Feel free to grab whatever you want from these. These are just my suggestions. Alrighty. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.